model selection coming to machine learning techniques we uh, discussed that here you are not going to provide the exact algorithm or exact steps on how to solve a problem instead you will be providing a model you will be selecting a model and then you will provide the required data to the model you will train this model and then the model will provide you the required outputs so as a machine learning engineer or as a data scientist your most important role is in selecting the right model once you select the right model rest of the work becomes much easier so uh, here we are considering problem of curve fitting while selecting the right model for curve fitting using regression model selection basically boils down to selecting the correct order of polynomial that is uh, while we are solving regression the equation we can write it like this in linear regression y is equal to w0 plus here we are considering all the higher order polynomials so then we can include all curve fitting examples w1x plus w2x square plus w3x cube plus so on till let's say some higher order number wm x power m so this is our equation so using all these you have to find y y is your target let us say your actual curve looks something like this this is your let's say this is your actual curve this is the underlying regularization uh, sorry regularity let's say this is your curve you are trying to approximate this particular curve using this equation so what will you do in the machine learning technique you are given with all these x's x is provided and this y is what you want to find this is the x axis you have the values of x values of y is what you want to find these w zeros are what the model can identify you are giving different constants w0 w1 and so on the model will identify this constants and complete this equation that is how a regression works let us uh, plot the points here we'll identify few points in this uh, er around this curve let us say one point lies here one point say lies here one here 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 so i'm just choosing some points with random noise i'm considering that this points are made with slight random noise on this underli underlying regularity okay now we need to see what change will happen if i'm choosing the uh, let us call the order of polynomial as m that is we are having terms till the order m what change will happen if i choose different orders of polynomial what is what if i choose m equal to 0 what if i choose 1 2 3 4 and so on and from this we need to identify what logic should we apply while selecting the right model for learning something okay we'll learn this through graphs because that will be much easier let us first consider the case when m is equal to 0 what happens when m equal to 0 all these terms will go off right only you have zeroth order polynomial which boils down to y equal to w0 so the only option for you is to plot a straight line a horizontal straight line which has the equation of y equal to 1 y equal to 2 so on y equal to 3 you can plot any of these lines so how will this look like let us simply plot a line uh, let's say this is this is the point 2 or 3 or something so how will the y equal to 2 line look like it will look something like this let me draw again so this is how it will look like so for all these points given these are the different points given for these points we have approximated it using this line let me mark it as m equal to 0 line this line is corresponding to m equal to 0 so what is the limitation of this line that is you can only draw these sort of horizontal lines and using a horizontal line you can't approximate all these points which are distributed like this so this is the best you can do with m equal to 0 let us consider what if m equal to 1 instead of m equal to 0 what if you are using m equal to 1 in case of m equal to 1 your equation will look like y equal to 
w0 plus w1x so this is the equation of a line so this need not be a horizontal line this can be a line with any orientation like this coming to this with m equal to 1 let us try drawing one uh, with m equal to 1 i think this should be the approximation of this something like this okay so let us say this is the approximation for these points i'll mark this as m equal to 1 with m equal to 1 this is the line that we got so with m equal to 1 we can see that this one is slightly slightly better than what we got with m equal to 0 because now we can plot lines on any orientation so which means we can plot lines with lesser error so this blue line this looks like it is having lesser error compared to what this red line was having now let us consider m equal to let's say m equal to 3 in case of m equal to 3 what happens instead of this equation of y equal to w0 plus w1x if we have three third order polynomial it will look like y is equal to w0 plus w1x plus w2x square plus you have third order term as well w3x cube as you can see from this equation this is capable of forming curves so Previously in m equal to 0, we saw only horizontal lines. With m equal to 1, we saw it can plot different lines. With m equal to 3, you can use, uh, you can draw curves. So this can have different curvy nature like this. Uh, let us simply draw one line with m equal to 3. Uh, let us say this is the line that you found with m equal to 3. These are the points. And let us say this is the approximation that you made with m equal to 3 so this is somewhat somewhat close to what you wanted that is your underlying regularity looks somewhat close to this green line which is m equal to 3 let me darken the underlying this is the underlying regularity which means this is your actual line which you are supposed to form using the points now the points they are not exactly on the line there is random noise on the points so while you are plotting there will be slight errors you won't be able to plot the exact same underlying regularity you tried with m equal to 0 then we tried with m equal to 1 and now m equal to 3 that is we tried with third order polynomial let us see what happens if we try with a larger order polynomial let us say we chose something like uh, m is equal to 10 if we choose a very large order polynomial what happens is this time you have terms till m equal to 10 so w0 plus w1x plus dot 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 plus up to w10 x power 10 so as the order of polynomial increases you are capable of forming more complex curves so this time your curve can look like anything like this because you are having a very higher order polynomial but will this be able to do a better approximation of your underlying regularity this is your most important question so what happens is if you do with this sort of a line it plots something like this uh, let me use this color so what happens is now the model knows these dots are the points how will it try to plot it will try to go through all these points so it's it will be something like this it will go through these points let's say see it is trying to cover all the points the mod this curve will try to exactly cover all the points but this is oscillating too much and this is in no way an approximation of your underlying regularity so why did it happen like this because you are trying to minimize error you are trying to minimize error so from from the previous lectures we learned about error what is error error is y minus t so what t is your actual target and y is what you obtain from your equation so here you see in the 10th order polynomial in the case of m equal to 10 you can see your total error is exactly zero your error is zero because all the points are passing exactly through your m equal to 10 curve which means on your training data it is having zero error it is excellent fit on your training data but this is what you call as 
overfitting overfitting why do you call it as overfitting it's called overfitting because it did overfitting on your on your training data which means when you give test data which is different from the training data it won't be able to fit at all it would because your curve is now looking like this if i am telling at x equal to this what is the value your curve will approximate it to be at this point which is far different from what your actual approximation should have been so when you are using a higher order polynomial the chances of overfitting increases so as as a machine learning engineer your role is to identify the right value of m what is it in order to choose for a model once you choose the model uh, polynomial degree thereafter it's up to the model to learn the best one so see this is how you can see the difference let if you simply plot something like this the value of m and let's say i'm plotting error here if i'm plotting like this on the training set the training data what will happen is as you increase the value of m the error on training data would come down 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 and down because as we saw in m equal to 10 case the model was able to fit exactly so the error would come and close down to zero but what happens in case of test data in case of test data initially the error would come down it would come down till a point and once it reaches a sweet spot this error will start going up and this is on the test data this is test data and the yellow line that is a training data this was on training data what happened is when it after this point you can see it is overfitting on training data when it overfits on training data on the actual test data it will underfit which means error will shoot up so as a machine learning engineer your role is to find this sweet spot and choose the right value of m for your model uh, i'll i'll give an explanation on how this overfitting is happening let us say uh, you chose m is equal to something like 20 and you are choosing a 20th order polynomial and let's say your total number of data points is let's say 15 you have only 15 data points what happens now your model is allowed to introduce 21 different coefficients that is from w0 w1 these are the coefficients that your model it's in the hands of your model so w1 up to w20 total of 21 different coefficients your model can decide on which means your model has 21 degrees of freedom that's what your model can model but your total number of data points is only 15 which means using this 21 levels of degrees of freedom your model can tune into these 15 data points exactly that is what happened in your m equal to 10 case here that is when overfitting happens when i say this i know you can you can have this doubt in your mind which is pretty logical i would say that if if as i said in the previous lectures to you if the model is intelligent that is what we are aiming in machine learning and if the model can learn the coefficients if i am saying m is equal to let's say 10 and model has all the terms let's say w0 plus w1 x1 plus w2 x square plus dot 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 plus let's say up to w10 x power 10 if if it is the case that my second order polynomial is the best fit let's say up to w2 x x square this is the best fit if i introduce the remaining terms it will overfit if this is the case why is it not that my model is not able to identify that second order polynomial is the best fit and hence the model has to mark all other w's as zero see if the model marks w5 w6 up to w10 all these as zero these terms will all vanish off automatically so if the model is intelligent it should be able to do this right no it won't be able to do what is the reason the reason is this firstly as the degree of polynomial increases that is as you increase the value of m one thing that happens is the magnitude of your coefficient w that will also increase which means 
in this particular equation if you are expecting it to fit it something like 1 plus 3x plus 5x square let's say or 6x square this is what you are expecting it to fit but what the model will do is in order to exactly fit with your points it will try to optimize these w's to the higher values it will turn out to be something like 10,123 plus 9,871x plus such large coefficients would turn up. What will this have? This uh, lead to? The coefficients are very large which would help it match with each data point exactly. But the oscillations on the graph that would be very high. Here you can see the oscillations on the graph will be very high which means the larger values of w will always harm you so for this reason the model won't be able to simply put all the other w's as zero instead it will try to increase the values of w to very high level and exactly fit with each of the points and see in case in case all the points were actually of the regu uh, underlying regularity let's say this is your underlying regularity and all the points actually lies on the same regularity then you could have at least had better chances with a complex curve uh, see in this case you won't have even with this because it will form something like this or something there is a possibility but what i'm saying is ideally in machine learning you will have points which have some sort of noise so what you want to do you want to not fit exactly with the points instead you want to identify the underlying regularity which may not be exactly on the points but it would be close to the points and you want to plot this underlying regularity so for that reason it's logical to choose a good value of m i'll conclude this lecture with one more point that is as m increases i told you the magnitude of coefficients would increase so in order to tackle this one idea is that if you increase the size of data if you increase the size of data overfitting would decrease just take the same example here it was able to overfit like this because your data points are very less instead if you had lot of data points like this let's say lot of data points then your model won't be able to overfit the same way as the previous this time you won't see that much of overfitting it would fit something like this so if the number of data points increases if the size of data increases overfitting will always decrease this is a general observation but you should never choose the complexity of the model according to the size of data never think that i have 1 billion points in my data points and let me choose a very complex higher order polynomial that doesn't work because your complexity of model this should always always be chosen according to the complexity of your problem if your problem is a tough problem it is a complex problem in order to solve it you need a complex model let us say your problem demands a straight line let us say your points are all like this even if you have million points billion points whatever number of points if the points are in a straight line the requirement that you have is to draw a line like this so in this case your underlying polynomial should have degree of only one because you only need an equation of y equal to w0 plus w1x why do you want to have a higher order polynomial so always choose the complexity of your model according to the complexity of your problem complexity of your problem and as you have more and more data that's always helpful in modeling a machine learning problem